Get some ice cream first? We're riding dirty. Ever since I was a little boy, the backyard has always been an exciting place to play. When I moved to Wyoming, the backyard became a wild, untamed realm of endless adventure. I'm Sean Parker, and this is Bighorn Mountain Country. So, uh, what are we doing, Sean? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, okay. here in Sheridan, we've got a little more than 20 miles of bike trails within the city limits. It connects True. everything from North Park, out at the uh, North Interchange, all the way to the college. And we've also got some amazing organizations like the Sheridan Community Land Trust mm. that have built miles and miles of new trail systems just outside of town. We're excited to see those. So today, we're gonna check them all out. All right. Bring them my ice cream. The city of Sheridan's public pathway system includes roughly 20 miles of well-maintained walking and biking paths. These paths connect to public parks, weave through our historic downtown, and lead to areas just outside of the city center. Many of the pathways offer stunning views of the Bighorn Mountains, creeks, and streams, and a way for locals and visitors to get outside and enjoy one of Wyoming's most scenic cities. Our wild ride begins at Kendrick Park, the city's most popular public space. Named for cattleman and ninth governor of Wyoming, John B. Kendrick, the park features a band shell, playgrounds, an ice cream parlor, and the city's bison and elk paddock. Just up the hill from the park is the Trail End State Historic Site, otherwise known as Kendrick Mansion, the governor's former home. The next stop is Malcolm Wallet Park, named for the former U.S. Senator. Situated at the northern end of town, Malcolm Wallet Park is known for the serenity of Big Goose Creek and remarkable fall colors. The South Park Natural Area offers up panoramic mountain views as well as a chance to dip your toes into Little Goose Creek. South Park is a popular destination for photographers, bikers, hikers, and walkers, and a great place to go for a stroll with the whole family. Well, we've been checking out these trails here in town, but I think it's time to take it up a notch. Okay. So, it's been uh, pretty high octane already. Pretty high octane, but we need more octane. We need like a 91 unleaded. Cool. So we're gonna go see Ronnie with the Land Trust up at Hidden Hoop. Ronnie's got some secret runs ready for us. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna give us the inside track on the new trail system. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's ride. Here we go, there's our man. Hey, we're gonna do some work today. We are, we're gonna go get our hands dirty and go see what uh, the new trail looks like. Right on, where are you taking us? I will take you out to my new section of trail called The Link. Okay. Um, it's right off the top of Hidden Hoot, super easy to find. So uh, yeah, when it's open, it'll be a sweet trail to hit. Right on, what's the link all about? Is that connecting a couple other trails? Yep, yep, so the link will connect us. It'll be about three miles from the top of Hidden Hoot and it'll um, connect into the two mile point of Soldier Ridge. And wow. you'll be able to have, it'll be, I think about a seven mile loop total, oh, all awesome. said and done. Right on. We're not doing all that today, are we? No, 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 no. We'll, 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 keep, we'll take it easy today. That's like six and a half miles more than I've ever done. <laughs> all right, sweet. Are we biking or driving? We're gonna drive in. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Let's go. The whole communities grow and thrive due to trail users. Mountain biking, the community is, it's big, but it's very tight knit. So once, you know, trails start popping up, in all these towns, it, it's not very long before the word spreads. Already on red grade this year, I met Colorado, Montana, Idaho, Utah, you know, and they're all coming to, they're all coming from areas that have awesome trails too, and they're still coming to check out ours. So that says, you know, a lot about our community and yeah. what we've done. Of course, it was a, a battle to get those done. Yeah, both politically totally. Sometimes yep, and, yep. and between private and public interests. But now that they're here, I think that it's, it's hard to argue against their utility and the benefit that they bring to the community. Once the momentum starts rolling, it is hard to stop it. And 
people do start realizing that there is benefit and you know a lot of those people that aren't for them they'll come back to you 10 years later and say you know thanks for doing this you know it's been a huge improvement there's more coming and there's more talks and more trails in town too a lot of it you know it's it's funding and we're lucky that we have such an awesome crew of donors that is always willing to throw down um, open up their checkbooks for these trails. It's a privilege, you know, to have trails and to have a group of a community that wants to take care of them. That's even cooler. I think by my calculations, that's over a million pounds of earth moved today. So that's good enough for one morning or 20 minutes, whatever it may be, whatever comes first. We're about to saddle up our mechanical bulls. We're gonna take a rip on Hidden Hoop. Check it out. <laughs> Uh oh, we've got a wreck. I'm gonna go for a rip here and show these nerds how it's done. Show us how it's done. Nice rip, dude. How do you feel? Ooh, I feel like some lunch. God, it's hot. <laughs> well, every turn available at Hidden Hoop has been shredded sickly. So we are now gonna dive into some lunch, regroup. Um, Max has a some kind of head injury. I'm a little banged up from one of the most epic wrecks you've ever seen. Jeff seems totally fine, so we're gonna hydrate, grab a bite to eat, and we're gonna hit it again. So we've tested our metal on Sheridan's Pathway System, and also a couple of great land trust trails down at Hidden Hoop and also at Soldier Ridge. But now, we're gonna get serious. Jeff's gonna get his bike tuned up here at Sheridan Bicycle Company, owned and operated by Jordan and Callie LaDuke. We are a full service bike shop. Uh, we are a year round bike shop. Uh, sales, service, and accessories. Tell me about the changes you've seen in Sheridan County's bike scene since oh, 2012. Yeah. Good gravy. Uh, it's changed tremendously. And I chalk a lot of that up to Sheridan Community Land Trust for uh, you know putting down trail, putting down accessible trail. Uh, not everybody wants to ride or drive 40, 50 miles to get to a trail. With access like here to Red Grade, we can get there safely, quickly, and get a ride in. So cycling has changed tremendously in Sheridan over the last 15 years, hell over the last two years. So Jordan, we're gonna ask you, what are you here to do today? Ride the awesome trails at Red Grade. This is a little bit above my pre grade. Pray grade. Pray grade. Pray grade. <laughs> this is a little bit above my pray. I can't say it. <clears throat> So these trails right now are a little bit above my pay grade. That's why we got Jordan here to shred this stuff up. Let's see how Pro does it. on red grade all day long but lights going down got to be safe but got to give a tip to the cycling cap to the Sheridan Community Land Trust for all their hard work uh, rumor has it uh, Ronnie may be bringing some uh, some equipment up here ASAP to uh, start digging the next 15 miles so once again kudos to Sheridan Community Land Trust and everybody behind this project there's little doubt that Sheridan County is quickly becoming a destination for mountain bikers of all experience levels and with organizations like the Sheridan Community Land Trust, Sheridan County and the City of Sheridan continuing to invest in the future of outdoor recreation, the experience is only poised to get better. Add in annual events like the Dead Swede and there are sure to be many more miles to explore in the future. Until then, we'll be out here chasing sunsets.